Welcome back to Relatable. Now we get to do the fun part, which is now that you've done all the hard work of creating a video and making it actually interactive for your audience, now you get to share it and you get to do all kinds of fun things with it. So I'm going to go back to my phone and share my phone screen so that you can see exactly what you can do. It's pretty incredible. Okay, so there is my bullet points test, the clip we made before. So I'm going to click that little pencil button. And you saw the first three where it says set up and edit right on the top. We created our video and we changed the, uh, the branding, the styles. We added pop-ups. Now a third place that I haven't brought you yet is a little more advanced is called re-engagement. And that's where you can actually start, have people start back where they left off if they leave your video and do many other things like transfer data to your CRM or your email automation um, if you've collected opt-ins. So I'm not gonna go through that right now, that's an advanced setting. But then we also went to the second step, which is views. And under views, test is for you to use if you are the builder I would suggest instead of hitting view, you hit test whenever you want to test your interactive and make sure your elements are in the right places. The test is going to have you view it as if you're a viewer, but it's gonna stay in your creator account. All right, now we come to the fun part, which is the share section, that third section. And you can share on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. You can share via an SMS. You can uh, share via email, WhatsApp, Reddit, or you can just copy the link to put it in, let's say your email newsletter or any of the other platforms you might be on. So I'm gonna take that and just show you one of the benefits right now of Relatable. And that is when I go into either LinkedIn or Facebook. So what you're gonna see is the thumbnail. It's gonna already be uh, created as a video right there in a Facebook post. So the reason this is beneficial is because once I type something on the top, right? I'm gonna put B, relatable okay i'll put my text and when someone actually clicks on that thumbnail right there the actual video when they click on that video i can tell them in the text as well of the post click the video for more information right or click the video to see more or click the video to hear my thoughts or whatever you're going to say in marketing but when that person clicks that video image the relatable video is going to pop up on top of their feed, especially if they're on their phone, and they're not even gonna know they left Facebook because it's what we call a web view. The real benefit of this is that Facebook doesn't know you left. So your, your reach is not gonna get throttled. And I know this is something that happens all the time when you put links or videos that take people out of the platform, the platforms don't like that. So this bypasses that. The platforms don't know they're viewing something outside of Facebook or LinkedIn. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so you're not going to affect your reach. You're not putting a link in here that's going to take them off. Like LinkedIn, you're not putting a link in there that link LinkedIn is going to have to shorten and put their own branding on. Okay, so now you can share in any of those platforms or copy the link and share it wherever you like. Okay, so now let's look at data. All right, so right now we did not ask for any opt-ins. So we're not going to see any data unless someone views this that has already opted in previously. Okay, so the clips data, the app data, and the analytics will all be present if someone opted in or if someone viewed your video who had previously opted in on a previous video. All of that data will be collected for you. But right now I don't have anyone since this hasn't been published anywhere. Okay, so let's look at what we can do with this clips data. Okay, so I'm looking at one of my other clips and I'm going to look at the analytics and there's one person that viewed this, Cassie. And what I can do, this is the beautiful thing with your clips video. What I can do, I can click that little pencil button and look what I can do. I can text to this person directly if I have their phone number. I can email them directly or I can WhatsApp them directly. So I can create another video in Relatable specifically to this person and send it directly to them in the app. Better than that even is you can get people from your videos. Let's say this one here, I'm gonna do this test clip again and I'm going to view it, okay? Now watch what I can do. Do you see up in the right corner after I start this? See up in the right corner, the little share icon? Let me hit that and I'll show you. 
you can ask your audience members to share this on any of their favorite platforms, and then it comes shared from them and or copy the link as you see there. Or the best part about this, we call this viral share. I'm going to click the uh, text button in the far left bottom link, not the bottom copy, but the text icon, and you'll see what happens. What happens is I can choose anyone in my uh, texting app, in my contacts on my phone, and I can send your video directly to them, okay? And then I'm going to click send. And that will automatically send your video to anyone in your contacts. So I can choose many people. I can choose multiple people. It doesn't have to just be him, right? I can add anyone from my contact list and send it directly to them. And guess what? It costs you as the creator nothing. So in other words, this is not using uh, Twilio or any of the texting automation apps that cost you for each text. This is a text from person to person, phone to phone. And I wonder what kind of clout, what kind of recommendation would this carry if a message was sent directly from a friend of yours that you know, and they said, hey, I think you need to watch this. What kind of recommendation would that be? This is directly from person to person, and it carries so much more weight. And this is one of the key contributors to what we've called in the past marketers, what marketers have coined dark social. This is person to person sharing your content in a way that typically you can't track. But in Relatable, you can. They can also come up here to the little hamburger menu and, uh, you know, check information there. They can start the video over. They can share it from there instead of on the top share button, or they can actually go build their own video. Okay. And then we have other utilities. There's other app data and analytics. Uh, we have, you can hide certain things. You can unhide, you can export your app. You can use different integrations. You can clone a project, or you can move this particular video to another group or delete it altogether. That concludes the initial onboarding process to be relatable with your audience and specifically your content. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. That's why I'm here. Have a great day.